What is the most important invention of the past 200 years that we often take for granted? I bet you have a lot of things in mind, like smartphones, cars, or internet. But what if I told you that there is something even more essential and life-changing that we use every day without giving it much thought? Ancient civilizations like the Greeks and Romans had some pretty cool systems to bring water to their cities and homes, using aqueducts and public baths. But they also had some nasty problems with sanitation, like dumping their waste into rivers or streets, which caused diseases and pollution. Things got even worse during the medieval and renaissance periods, when people had to rely on wells, cisterns, or rain barrels for their water supply, and used chamber pots or outhouses for their toilet needs. Imagine having to fetch water from a well every time you wanted to drink, cook, or wash yourself. And imagine having to empty your chamber pot into a cesspool or a ditch every morning. But things started to change in the 1800s. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution and some brilliant inventors who came up with new ways to improve water and sanitation systems. For example, in 1829, the Tremont Hotel in Boston was the first hotel in the US to offer indoor plumbing to its guests. And in 1848, the Public Health Act in Britain required every new house to have a drain connected to a sewer system. That was a huge step forward for public health and hygiene. But indoor plumbing was not just about convenience and cleanliness. It was also about social justice and equality. You see, before indoor plumbing was widely available, poor people had to suffer from lack of access to clean water and safe sanitation, which made them more vulnerable to diseases and infections. But with indoor plumbing, billions could enjoy the benefits of having water and toilets in their homes, regardless of their income or status. That's what I call a game changer. Unfortunately, as per UNICEF report, around 60% of the world's population or 4.5 billion people either have no toilet at home or one that doesn't safely manage human waste. So next time you turn on your faucet or flush your toilet, remember to appreciate this amazing technology that we are so lucky to have. If you enjoy what you see and want more, please consider hitting that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our latest videos. We love hearing from you, so drop a comment below. What topics would you like us to cover in future videos? Thank you.